have a 2001 GMC C8500 tandem axle truck. Has a 3,000 gallon tank on it. Cat engine of a 3126, 7.2 liter, 275 horse. Has an Allison five speed transmission, automatic. Approximately 6,200 miles on it. Currently we have the um, auto eject for the electricity. We have charger, building charger on it, a Koosman charger and conditioner. We also have the auto air eject, so the air is always up on the truck, along with the auto gauge to let you know that it is charged and ready to go. From there we have a 10 inch dump on the driver's side. We have one on the passenger side and one on the rear. They're all manually operated. This one has a chute on it. The back side has a chute and the other side doesn't. From there we go to a 500 GPM pump panel. Has a manual control throttle with panel lights. And we do have a primer on it to prime it. From there we have a four inch hard suction on both sides. We also have a two and a half inch discharge on both sides, along with a inch and a half. We're using an inch and three quarter hose on it currently. And the speed lay, we can lay as much up to probably 500 feet of hose on it. Currently we have 150. We have a tank fill here, and then we have the pump tank to pump here. So you open this valve to let the water to the pump. You can circulate it through the tank fill. You also can pump and roll with this model. On the driver's side, we have storage compartment. With uh, enough room for hose, suction, nozzles. Up above we have a 24 foot extension ladder and a 12 foot roof ladder. Those will both go with the truck. We also have spotlight on the front right behind the driver's side. And as we move to the back you'll notice that the tread is good on the tires. Tandem axle with the chrome hubs on them. We have a 3 inch inlet gated. We can put the fill line on here. The water goes to the top of the tank. So you have no resistance from the water in the tank. So it's a top fill. Up at the very top, we have another vent tap. Cap on the top, we can fill from the top, where we fill the water in with another four inch line. This is the rear 10 inch dump with manual levers. Down below, we have a storage cabinet that runs the length where there will be two hunks of four inch hard suction in there. along with a little storage compartment for shovels and whatever. Over here we have a two and a half inch nurse, nurse line we call it. So you can hook this right up directly to your pumper and nurse to your pumper. We have a little storage compartment here for hose that we use when we go to put water into the truck from a fire hydrant. So we have the hose ready to go. Along the side here we have a side rack that is manually operated. It has a 3,000 gallon tank that will go with the truck. Also on the passenger side, we have another compartment, the same size as the other side, where you can note that you have plenty of room for hose storage. We have two and a half inch in there, plus room for our cones. On the passenger side, we have another four and a half inch hard suction line to intake. We have a two and a half inch discharge along with the other 10 inch quick dump right behind the passenger door. Currently has two fuel tanks on them. This is the passenger department.
Under the hood we have the CAD engine. This is the passenger side of the engine compartment where the CAT 326 7.2 liter engine is. It's 275 horse on the driver's side of the CAT engine. Notice how clean it is. And note the front wheels, plenty of tread. It also has the front hub caps, driver's side compartment, front seat. Notice the radio stanchion, all the light switches for the NFBA compliant lights are on the front dash, pump PTO is right there, pump and roll feature. It also has a backup camera, air horn, <coughs> code 3 light bar, up on top we have the four spots and floods on each corner of the tank. Rear revolving lights. Back there's two spots on the back or floods, whichever you prefer. 3,000 gallon porta tank that uh, folds down where it's easy to remove it. Five hundred GPM pump is noted right there, hooked right to the transmission. It's a hail with winter drain. 